Wing tips. Again, personal choice of you. You have them in all sizes, you have them in all shapes. You have the pointy ones of the book. Nice to look at, but you need several kind of ribs because the wing is going narrow to the tip. You have also the same problem when you have the more rounded tip of the later model. They also demand several types of ribs. You have the, those who think, well, I want to avoid that problem and make a really rectangular wing. Can be done, but you, you lose some efficiency of the wing. There are steps in between. Uh, for me, it was possible to make a wing with only one type of rib and just at the end around the tip. It is possible. It demands a little bit thinking work, but you can do it. Uh, I really do not advise to make the really rectangular uh, version. Um, the loss in efficiency is sufficient enough to consider that not ideal. Um, there's also the trapezium shaped uh, version you can have, but again it demands several types of ribs. Like I said again, it's a personal choice. It's up to you. Now something you probably not have heard of. The Cosandi flag. Now, what does it do? It's been installed on the rear wing and it only goes upwards. Now why is it used? It has two functions. One is glad ratio control. If you are a bit too high to land, you can lose a lot of altitude by using it to uh, reduce the efficiency of the rear wing. So you glide down on a high angle. But you have two kinds of flaps. You have one over there one piece and you have differential flaps. Now those differential flaps they are being used to have a better ability to land with cross rings. Now uh, a flying flea is a two axis and it's having let's say not problems with cross rings but you have to really fly angled and then at the end correct yourself. Now with these split flaps you can set one high and another normal and uh, that makes that you have kind of three axis ability to fly straight to the strip and be able to do it like a normal landing not being angled I have to correct at the end uh, it's a useful thing it's not hard to make uh, Again, it's up to you. This was my longest video till now. Don't be too scared with all the data I give to you. It is a lot of choice you can make. But it doesn't have to end up with something very complex. If you make the choices of I lose every option available, no flaps, no special landing gear, uh, no whatever, simply ask info on the internet of how to attach the rear wing to the fuselage. Make your own selection of which airport you're going to use. There are all being proven. Uh, most being, being used is uh, the NACA version, NACA airport. Um, use the technique of building it from the book. It's possible or try to study how to make grips in another way. All is possible to keep it as simple as possible. An HM14 is a really simple thing to make. I forgot or deliberately didn't mention a few other things that need to be uh, corrected from the book to a modern version because it's getting a bit too much in detail. Uh, I will make my website as quickly as possible available again 
and there you have all the listed details you need to keep in mind when searching for the book and reading it. Remember, HM14 has only till now the French version. Don't start looking up for the English version, it's not available. There is a good translation of the first edition, the book from uh, 1934, but remember, it's a good reading stuff, but please don't use it to build it, because that plan still has the teething problems from the beginning. You can find the, um, those plans on flyingfleet.org or whatever new URL it is having. Uh, no problem. Read it. It's good reading stuff and you'll know more about the flying flea. It explains a whole concept of the flying flea and uh, that is still the same. Good luck and if you have any questions there is a good Yahoo group called Flying Flea. Ask your questions over there. There are builders, there are designers over there. We will be very happy to help you.